Hi, this is Destiny. Uh, today, I'm just going to just have one of my little real talks. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, I have been thinking on lately because um, a lot of things has to do with our value, value in ourselves, um, understanding ourselves. And I did a lot of talking on knowing who you are, and that is so important. You've got to really dig deep. If you don't keep saying you don't know who you are, you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you put it here on this planet, you don't know what you're here to do, and that's something that I truly, you have to search within yourself. And you have to have that communication, that connection with the divine source, your God, your higher power, and you gotta go on the journey. You gotta allow the journey to go take you wherever that the Creator is trying to take you. And it will take you to places that you will begin to resonate with. Things that's gonna take you back to the beginning of your childhood. And you begin to be like, oh, I, I remember when I used to do that. I remember when I connected to that. Well, these are things and these are passions, these are desires that lies dormant within you. And these are the purpose that the Creator has put in you. So, um, I'm further, like I said, my whole thing now is to, I want to build people up because we have been torn down so much. And during the process of our lives from the time that we were born, even before we were born in our mother's womb still, we heard a lot of negative uh, voices a lot of negative tones, negative emotions, negative energies, and all kinds of things. And like I said, people don't think that the unborn child that's within that mother's womb is not affected. That child is affected from that child first enter into that womb. And it goes through the stages of the nine months. Everything that that mother goes through or the environment that mother is around, that baby's inside, that baby is picking up all of these Emotions, feelings, no matter whether they're happy or sad or joyful, unjoyful, loving, not loving. Every single one that child is experiencing from day one when that child enters. As we grow into the fetus, that child is hearing a lot of different things. So when a child is born, it comes out into that same type of environment. And like I said, we are constantly, constantly programmed, conditioned, and a lot of us go have gone through this process of being torn down, being um, labeled with such bad <laughs> labels that many of us have come to hey, accept it, but hey, I. I I truly, really, truly, truly, truly tell you this. Really, listen. Don't let people define you. Don't let people label you. Don't wear people's strips that they put on. They write your little program, say this is you, that you. Don't, 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 don't do it. And that's one of the things that, that I think that we need to go back to is learning who you really are. Because a lot of it came through, and like I said, the biggest thing that I really want to talk about was self-worth, self-esteem, our value. And we don't value ourselves a lot of times. We have no self-worth, our self-esteem is low, we can't have conversations, communications, and we can have eye contact with people because we feel like that we are less than, that we are lower than. And then if we do, we have to put on a mask and we have to put on that false identity so people can say, okay, he, you, you, you're on the same level with me, you're understanding, you, know, you can hang with me because we're having the same communication. And we have to seem like we have to always dress up for the occasion that we're gonna enter into, no matter what that situation may be, or who that person is, or who that we're gonna be in a company of. We always gotta make sure that we have on our, bad, our best mask so we can we're in favor with these people. That's just a poor self, low self-esteem right there. And um, that's, a, that's the thing that I really want to 
to get across to everybody if I get nothing else across to you and any other videos that I may make. You have to value yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to start reprogramming your mind, your thought patterns, your thoughts. You're going to have to start going back into your self, deep, deep within yourself. And you got to start allowing your consciousness, your, your gut intuition to reveal that beauty, that creative beauty, that creative, um, created you to be. And, I, and, and you know, um, I was talking with someone this morning and we, was, we just, just had a little runoff conversation. And, and I just said that because this person said to me, we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and that's what the Bible says, the Creator. I know your thoughts and plans that you have for me, and I know that, you know, a lot of different things. And he had, he had plans, he had thoughts, and, and, and like I said, he predestined our whole entire life before we were even born. He already made us who we are, who we're going to be, how we're going to live our lives, but we got away from a lot of, a, a lot of the, the, the paths we got away from the plans that the Creator created. And then we allowed other people to come in, took us up. And we ran with them and, and all of a sudden, you know, they, they, they point out a lot of things that, hey, it was never meant for us to walk in, to associate ourselves with, to detach, to attach ourselves to, to be a part of. I mean, we just weren't. We are. We are created in, in his image and in his likeness. And he predestined us for greatness, for pure greatness. We, we have so much value. We have so much worth. And we got to stop trying to equal ourselves up to other people. You know, we sizing ourselves up to other people. If I be like this person, then they will accept me. If, if I act like this person, then I can be a part of them. If, if, if I speak like this person, if I do what this person is doing, because this person gets a lot of attention and a lot of applause, and then, then, then maybe they're like me. But we always got to figure out, we got to size ourselves up to other people. Stop comparing yourself to what other people are, to what lives that other people are living. Be you. You got to learn how to be your authentic, true, authentic self. The person that within you, the person that the creator created you to be. If you don't know how to do that, I keep telling you, go with inside of you. Go with inside of you and you have to talk with your divine self, your God consciousness. And like I told you before, and I tell you a lot of times a lot of videos, it does you a great thing. It's get out into nature. Because nature is going to reveal who you are. I mean, y'all may think that, hey, you know, this is talking out of her side of her head again. Destiny is talking kind of crazy again. What getting outside got to do with anything? L listen. You were created from the matter, the, the neutrons, the, the elements, the frequency, the waves, all that. You were created from the elements of the earth, the sources of the earth little part of it and and that's what the divine creator is waiting on us touch the source of life because he created everything in the earth and we are part of that and that's why we are all energy we are totally absolutely energy and we can vibrate at different frequencies because of that and nature has a lot to do with it because like nature will give you signs and synchronicities and Nature will give you messages because nature is trying to point you back to where you to where you were in the beginning before we came here and we forgot who we were. We came here and then we got comfortable having people program us, having people pull us on a chain and eat us around. We were our ancestors and our forefathers and all those they were hooked to this slavery. The slavery mentality or physical slavery and that was something that they just carried it on like I said they forgot who they were because they took on everybody else's or identity everybody else's lifestyle everybody else's patterns because it was like I said they started feeding them their book 
their information, their knowledge, and all that. And all of a sudden now, you don't have to think for yourself because our slave master says they'll think for us. And we weren't allowed to, to use our mind, our created side of us that the Creator created us to be. And our forefathers threw all that away. Ah. But it's time for us to stand up and face the reality. Someone, somewhere down the path, they dropped us. That when they dropped us, they left us in a horrible place. They left us in captivity, a physical and emotional and mental and a spiritual captivity. And like I said, everything within us just went out the window. Now you don't have to think for yourself. So we, we stop thinking. Now we don't have to believe that we are beautiful. Now we don't have to believe anything anymore. Because they're telling us, you're all those things that they want you to be to keep the control mechanism attached to you. So a lot of times they tore, tore us down with negative words, negative vibes, negative energy. And they gave us the worst of everything that made us feel like that we weren't worthy and good enough. So we just accepted. I'm not worthy. I'm not valuable. You know, I'm not loved. I'm, and, 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 and we begin to... Think on those things. And like I said, self-worth is something that I really want us to really start valuing yourself. I want us to really start having a respect for ourselves. I want us to really, truly come to really love who we are. We are so beautiful. We are so lovable. If you really, truly get on the inside and really, truly love you, unconditionally, just like the divine source of God, He is unconditional love. We're not, we're not hard to love. We're not hard to love if we really truly allow ourselves to be open up to the love that the Creator Universe has placed in us. And another thing is self-respect. We have to learn to respect ourselves. A lot of times we don't. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Re self-respect. We have to respect who we are. Because if, if we don't learn to respect who we are, we can't expect anybody else to. And all these things that I'm talking about, even like I said, if you want people to value you and appreciate you and love you and want to be a part of your life and to enjoy your company and being in your presence, then first it has to start. You got to learn how to be yourself first and loving you. Because, like I said, you never can get outside of you and get into someone else and start doing all these things for other people, but you never learn how to do it for yourself. You can't respect this person if you don't respect yourself. You cannot love that person if you never really truly know how to love yourself. You can't value something that's so precious when you don't know the value within yourself. First, you got to know the, the, all the meanings to life that has first attached itself to you. You got to appreciate and you got to accept that. So that is just a couple of things that we really need to think on. And like I said, morals. And those are the things that I'm, I want to build on, our morals. There is so much more to us than we can ever imagine. So much greatness, so much power within us than we can ever imagine. And um, like I said, and under that, let me tell you another thing that the Bible says. We got to renew our mind daily. <laughs> Every day we have to wake up and we have to put on a whole different mind from yesterday. Whole different thoughts from yesterday. Thoughts that kept us in the, in, in the loop. Thoughts that kept us down from rising to our higher and greater self. We got to detach ourselves. We got to renew our mind today and replace it with new thoughts. Thoughts that's going to take me to a better and higher place within my own self. So the Bible did tell us we have to renew our minds daily. Be not ye transformed. Be not ye transformed. Be not ye conformed. Well, whatever that Bible says. I know it's in Romans somewhere. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just trying to get to the Bible. Guys, I'll tell you. 
Anyway, let's be nice to that, y'all.